We're gonna do some meal prep, a week of meal prep, or prepping meals for a week. <laughs> um, when I prep for the week, I mainly prep meat. Sometimes I cut vegetables in advance, you know, things like the, the, the side, you know, rice or potato, whatever I prepare a day of, but I mainly just prepare the meat because that's what takes me the longest. Um, so when that's done and ready in advance and in the freezer, and I can just pull it, pull it out, stick it in the sink, and toss it in the oven later on, or just pull it out frozen and throw it into the Instapot, I'm good. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I have a sink full of dishes, unfortunately, that needs to be cleared before I can even get started, so I'm gonna do that first, and then we're gonna jump into it. A little treat to start. Do I get that energy up? So now that the dishes are all wrapped up, I'm going to pull out the meat. Please excuse the sound of the washing machine, like four feet away <laughs> on the spin cycle. We did our BJ's run uh, this weekend. I usually actually try and avoid the weekend. So I'll maybe do like Friday morning, go early before everyone gets off work. Oh, or if I do go on the weekend, then I have to get, I, I go really early, you know like opening. So we did that Sunday morning and like I said, didn't get to prepare it Sunday evening. So now I'm gonna pull out the meat. We got ourselves some bulk ground turkey. I would probably typically buy more, but we just have limited space in our freezer right now. And so I have chicken thighs that um, boneless, skinless, <laughs> more expensive, but so much easier to work with and cook so much faster that I get two packs of it's About nine or ten pieces in each and uh, I really like this to either just do in the oven or Slice it up thin and I can put it in the instant pot with some rice and just do a one pot meal that I love to do um, you can th Just throw in some frozen broccoli <laughs> just Make it a day everything's in there get the veggies in get the meat in get the rice in <laughs> and just do everything at the same time. One of my favorite things to do. And I get a couple of packs of drumsticks. Got two packs of these, and this will typically do in the oven, or I might throw it in a soup, depending on what's going on and what the weather's like. I would also typically get maybe like a whole chicken and season that in advance and throw it in the freezer and either do it in the oven, uh, and do it in the oven, or just toss it in the Instant Pot, depending on how much or how little time I have or whether I actually remember to take it out of the freezer in the morning. That's kind of a thing. I have to like set reminders because I don't know. Scattered, that's why I write everything down. Um, okay, so I'm going to start seasoning up some of this meat. The ground turkey, actually all I do to it is just split it into like, actually that's like two meals worth for us. So I'll just split it into two different freezer bags so that I can just thaw what I need. Um, which I'll typically use for like, I don't know, spaghetti and meat sauce or something with pasta and meat and sauce in the Instant Pot. Something nice and fast and easy. That's what I'm all about right now. We'll get back to gourmet when they're in high school. All right, all right, great. So let's get seasoning. Actually, I think I'm gonna start off with um, breaking up the ground turkey. In fact, I'll probably use that for dinner tonight because it's starting to get late. <laughs> so I think it's just gonna be spaghetti meat sauce or to get a salad. Yeah! Um, oh, yeah, and <laughs> I know it's like heavy on the chicken, a little bit of turkey. We, I would typically include some beef in there, but as the beef prices are where they are currently, I'm just kind of giving beef a break <laughs> for now. Oh, so I also have, keep my handy dandy Sharpie on the fridge for dating my Ziploc bags. So let's get this, check out the date on this meat. Freeze by. Okay, turkey. Let's continue. Thankfully, so far, kids are still playing nicely in the room. Oh, 
milk. Wait, I need one of those in the fridge. <sighs> yeah, my son is back. Face in the mic again. My son is back. He's got his camera. Hopefully he won't shoot in my shot. Shoot in my shot? What? Don't oh, shoot in my shot. What do you mean? Remember the last video where you like walked into frame and you're like <laughs> blocking me? Yeah. Like, hey, hey. I know not everybody believes in this, but I come from Caribbean people who will absolutely disown me if I am not cleaning my meat in some lemon or some vinegar or something. They say just rinse it off, but I'm gonna follow my mother's advice <laughs> and stick to, so I always have a big old, at least one or two big old bottles of vinegar underneath. I'm gonna open up the thighs. Anyway, moving on. Seasoning my thighs. Seasoning my thighs. What else do I need? What else do I need? What else do I need? Oh, my new favorite friend. You're like, no, 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 for kind of a change up from like sort of seasoned salt or some black pepper, garlic powder, multi-purpose umami seasoning, some salt. I think that'll be it. All by my... That, mm, I should stop that. <laughs> Let me open it for you. Thank you, child of mine. Oh, thank you. So that's like two... For and oh. the broom for a second. The broom? Yeah. Mm, um, You're the, sweeping? Yeah, no. Is There's a, a mess. The tree's a mess. Trees? Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Close these up, stick them in the freezer. Each one is good for a night. I'm blocking the road. Of food. So it turns out someone did spill a potted plant. I'm not looking for a, uh, not one to, <sighs> um, so you might hear the vacuum going in the background because they were sent to go and vacuum up the soil on their bedroom floor. Drumsticks. And then I'm done. I just have to do two bags of drumsticks all at once, and I'm done. And then I have to do actually tonight's dinner. Because eh, you know what? It's almost five o'clock. They gotta eat. We keep the schedule moving. Chop, chop. <laughs> Ask me. No, tell me. Tell me why they're yelling. I can get this open. What is this, chopper? Eight. Oh, nine. Nine drumsticks. I don't know why I thought it was 10. For this price, secretly wished it were 10. Nine indeed. I try to get off these, uh, you know that uh, the heel, the heel of the drumstick here, that's like yellow and kind of rough. That and any stray feathers. If they're tough to come off, like the, the heel, the hard to part, then I'll just skip it, especially if I don't have so much time. This is the worst part of doing drumsticks. Getting the stray feathers off. Oh, those stray feathers. Feathers on the drumsticks. I'm just pulling out now. Still have the garlic powder, black pepper, salt, paprika, and loved by all, a piece de resistance. <laughs> the ketchup. It's really Get gourmet. I'm keeping really gourmet, you know? Only super gourmet. Super! Lots of ketchup. Hungry! Well, actually, not super. Oh, it does make for a nice sort of like barbecue-y kind of taste. Which, excuse me, sir. Which is pleasing to most. Yeah. 
and you see, I'm just, I'm just, I just kind of pour everything kind of liberally. More of some things, less of others. Now we have an audience, but it's raw chicken here. No, sweetie, stay back. I'm gonna mix that around a little bit. Oh, Ooh, hey. Cut them. Cut them. Cut them? No, I'm gonna cut them. Kill it? It's already dead. What the what? chicken did? What, what the chicken? The chicken what the chicken? What kind of language oh. is this? What the chicken? And now, the secret sauce. It's called ketchup. Stop touching, please. Well, why do you call it the secret sauce? Because I'm just being silly. He's farting! <laughs> it passed gas? No. It it passed. Pass gas. Move your hand. Yes, you catch your pass gas. Now tell it to say, excuse me. Excuse me, sauce. Okay, so now I got the chicken in the sink and bag, and I'm just pouring the sauce. I'm gonna even it out into two bags, whatever's left over. So that's how I prep my meat for the week. I have a good six nights worth of food. Um, whatever doesn't get finished the night that we eat it gets used for lunch the next day. And if it's not enough, I might throw something on the side or... So now I'm going to show you how it gets kind of distributed through the week, how we use it for leftovers, how I repurpose some things into a whole new meal when there's just meat left over and I can use it the next day and kind of stretch it. Cause you know, these days right now we need to stretch that food budget. So I'm gonna show you what I do. <laughs> I'm always looking for ideas. So please feel free to show me what you do or share, however you deem fit. Okay, here we go. Moving on. But I'm just going to do a quick spaghetti and meat sauce with a salad on the side because it's past five o'clock and I'm yes! out of <laughs> And I'm out of yes, time. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm out of time. So uh, that's like the one of the fastest dinners. That's, I think the, actually the fastest is in the Instant Pot. Get my pot of water going. Throw some salt, hopefully not too much. You know, a little guess here, a little guess there. Start with the meat. No. Yeah. For the meat. Okay, so it's 5.25 according to the clock on the wall. So my goal is to have this meal on the table by six o'clock. Wish me luck. I want everyone to go to bed on time. Hee <laughs> hee. So we have the meat we set aside from earlier. Even though I'm gonna put a sauce in it, I like to season the meat because it's always so much tastier when you season the meat and, uh, and then add the sauce. Season the meat first. It's so much yummier. So I just put um, the garlic powder, the what? black pepper, and some salt. Okay, so while this has been cooking, this the, the ground beef, it's, uh, not ground beef, ground turkey. You just wanna get it nice and brown, no more pink. Um, I just wash up the rest of the dishes, cause you know, wash as you go, an essential lifesaver to not having a massive pile of dishes at the end of the day. Every time you have a moment, <laughs> Time to lean, time to clean, as we learned at Mickey D's back in the day when I was like 15 in my first job. So like, I have a moment here that's still going, waiting for the water to boil, great. I'm gonna clean the sink from the, the chicken juice. And yeah, that's gonna keep cooking. Okay, so, got some tomato basil marinara from Trader Joe's. And the meat's all brown now. So I'm just gonna throw that in. There you go. Because it goes, that's what the color turns like when it's cooked. Okay. And it goes the sauce. We'll just let that simmer for a little bit. You want to have what? You're hungry. Okay. It's 545. Okay. Meat's done. Sauce is in. Gonna simmer. Water is boiling. We're looking good. Some organic pasta from Trader Joe's as well. Mom, I'm, 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 I'm breaking my shoes off. Well, let's put the scissors away, okay? So this will take 
about 10 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna throw this salad together and I have 13 minutes to do it. Wish me luck, I'm gonna set my timer. We've got this organic herb mix. I'm gonna give that a rinse. Yeah. Tomatoes, add some cucumber, add a pepper, and throw it all in. It's 5.50, 5.53. <laughs> Getting there. Okay, so I did not make six o'clock. Spaghetti is done. Sauce is done. Salad is done, but not cut, but not dressed. Dinner will be on the table in about five minutes. So let's call it 6.10, let's call it a win. Yay! Okay, so let's see if we're successful the rest of the week with our meal planning. All right, let's go. All right, so here's the update it is now thursday we started this on monday now i didn't <laughs> update you on tuesday or wednesday because i had a, a few oh, cluster things happening uh toddler got sick and toilet got backed up and that's still not resolved <laughs> that one toilet that's not working properly um so was not really able to keep up with uh showing you every night however so Monday we had the spaghetti meat sauce. I told you we were gonna do that. From Tuesday, we pulled out some of the chicken thighs. That went into the Instant Pot, did some rice on the stove, did some salad on the side. Was it salad? No, it was coleslaw. No, that was yesterday. I don't remember. It was salad on the side, <laughs> which we had on time as well. Okay, and then yesterday being Wednesday, I did the leftovers, which I would usually do for lunch, but it was just enough chicken that I could stretch it. And I really wanted to show you the stretch, but I didn't because the sky was falling. So <laughs> took the, the chicken, it was in a whole lot of sauce. I put that on in a saucepan on the stove and added some boiling water to make more sauce and uh, shredded the chicken. So it was just kind of like a pulled chicken sort of situation, throw in some <laughs> so hard to get good help these days. What? No thank you. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay dear, what was I saying? Yes, so the pulled chicken and I just threw in a little bit of like, so I threw some pasta in there and just let the water boil down and let the pasta soak it up. You know, not too much so that's not super soggy. And had that, I had rice left over and warmed that up, threw some beans into a can and dinner was ready in 30 minutes. I think everyone was relatively happy. Did a little coleslaw on the side, just chopped up some cabbage real quick, made my slaw sauce. All in all, I think it was relatively successful. Not too many complaints. So tonight, I still have like most of the meat because like I said, I did leftovers last night, so I didn't have to pull anything out. Now I'm gonna pull out some meat out of the, out of the fridge. Of course, I'm still working with my um, sink full of dishes that need to be cleared first. So what do you say? What do, should we do the drumsticks or thighs? Thighs, 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 no, thighs, 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 Drumsticks, drumsticks. Rice or pasta? Rice, rice, rice. rice, rice. rice, rice, rice. Decided. Rice, rice. Rice. Drumsticks it is. That I have to pull out. Oh my goodness, it's three o'clock. I didn't take it out yet. So I still want to do it in the oven. So I'm gonna throw it in some water. And uh, I think I'll do the rice in the Instapot. And I haven't figured out my vegetables. I should have it figured out already. I probably wrote it down. I think I did write it down. Hold on. I really did it. I really, I really did it. I'm, I'm using Notion for so many things, including meals for the week. Thursday is supposed to be coleslaw. Hmm. Well, I made the plan. And what I've learned is to stick to the plan. Sometimes I make a plan that I'm like, oh, do I really want that? Don't rethink it. It's okay. Stick to the plan. Just keep going. Don't complicate things. I'll try and get you some shots of tonight. Do my best. See you then. So I'm already like, it's 540. Yeah, it's 540. And I haven't gotten dinner in the oven or anything else. I should have started a while ago, but Things got delayed because we were working on the toilet again. And it's not fixed. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I need to get the chicken in the oven. That's what's gonna take the longest. So let me do that. I'm gonna put some parchment paper, kind of save the bottom of my pan just a little bit in the scrubbing department. Oh, 
I should probably turn the oven on. <laughs> yes, because it's not funny that I didn't turn the oven on. I've had the chicken sitting in water for a little while. Oil over it just to add to the sauciness. That's totally just bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Bonkerooners. Well, why is it bonkerooners? Why does it bonkerooners? Okay, so I'm gonna give the oven just a few more minutes to warm up. In the meantime, I'm going to wash the rice. Meantime rice? That's what you call it, meantime rice? No, in the meantime. Why did you call it meantime? Mommy! I think you're trying to drive me nuts. Mommy! Okay, so for my crew, for the five of us, I typically do like three cups of rice. That's enough to get everybody happy and satisfied, seconds if they want and a little bit left over. We're actually probably gonna eat at about 6.30, which is not too bad, you know? When it's prepared in advance, when at least some of it is prepared in advance, it really saves a lot of trouble. The work I'm doing now is about 20 minutes worth of work. And then I can walk away from it, set it, forget it, and come back at 6.30, ready to go. And uh, get the lid on the Instant Pot. Oh, no, butter. Butter in the rice. I don't know how long it took me to figure out that that makes it so, so much more tasty, but butter in the rice. It loops. All right. I need lid a second up. camera. Hang on, let me talk to the people. Okay, I know you can't see me, but I'm setting <laughs> the manual um, to 10 minutes. Instant Pot on, manual, 10 minutes. Of course, high pressure. This Instant Pot only does <laughs> high pressure. I, I guess I need a salad. Okay. Ah, Israeli salad. I'm making it. Israeli salad, that takes me like 10 minutes. So let's see, I started at 540. I should be done at 6 of 5, because it's 5.55 now. And then I'll do other things, because everything's going, and I just have to come back and serve dinner at 6.30. Thumbs up. I have my stuff. I have my stuff. Woohoo! Yay, the chicken's done. No, that's, that's the rice. I them. I'm like, is rest it, or is it going? And she's, now she's putting the oil. She already put the salt and pepper, and now she's putting the oil. Can I? Hear me mixing the salad. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so. Well, well, I can prepare. Chicken, nice. rice, and this is my food. Here we are. End of the week. And what a week it was. I showed you as much as I possibly could, and here's the thing. This is the beauty of planning in advance. Actually, it was such a mess of a week that it really saved my butt. Now, the execution didn't turn out so well, but that's because everything that could go wrong went wrong last week. However, because I was prepared, it was so much easier to adjust and still work with things and not have everything go out the window. It still turned out okay. So. This is maybe not the world's greatest meal prep video ever to be produced on YouTube. However, I do have the example to show you that it really does help when you are prepared in advance. So hopefully next time I take up such an endeavor, such as a meal planning video, that I will really be able to show the meals at the end of the day, at the end of the week, and really, really demonstrate what it should look like. But I'm so glad that we did this and we have the example of when everything hits the fan, that it's still better <laughs> to be prepared than not. Okay, that's all for this week. If you enjoy our content, please feel free, like our video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next.